From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top stories. How the government handles shantytown developments in the country could be determined by a trial that is now underway in the Supreme Court. Justice Cheryl Grant Thompson is hearing the case virtually. Queens Council lawyer Fred Smith is representing 177 shantytown residents, challenging the government's decision to evict them and demolish those developments. And he's accusing the government of a racist plan aimed at wiping out Haitian communities. Smith describing the government's policy as dictatorial, overreached, and overarching in its nature. That hearing continues. More persons are getting vaccinated against the coronavirus, but there's growing concern about increasing cases in the country. Officials say more than 5,000 persons have now been given their first shots since the rollout began last week, and that is expected to continue. But there is worry. After 33 more confirmed cases were reported for Thursday, 21 of them in the capital, eight in Grand Bahama, two in Abaco, one each in Eleuthera and Exuma. Health officials say there's been a marked increase in positive cases and hospitalizations since January and described it as disconcerting. The capital, Abaco, and Grand Bahama numbers are concerning, according to a statement released by health officials. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. We are now approaching 9,000 total cases for the country, and the hospitalization numbers continue to increase. 31 persons now in, one of them in the ICU, 188 deaths have been reported. The Ministry of Health is again urging residents to continue to follow the recommended protocols. There is a setback. The Pan American Health Organization has confirmed that the Bahamas will not receive the expected vaccine shipment by the end of the week, as has been announced, but it says it should be in country by early next month. Tourism Minister Diagula defending the government's decision to purchase the Grand Lucan Hotel in Freeport before the pandemic changed everything. Do I think we made the right decision? Absolutely. Did we have a suitable outcome? Yes, we did. Did coronavirus throw a wrench in that? Yes, it did. And now we have to work our way out of that. And we are confident that Royal Caribbean and ITM will come to the table. It won't be the deal that it was because... You know, their company has been so significantly impacted. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area. Mostly sunny again today. Highs from the low to mid 80s. 81 at Freeport. 84 in the capital. 84 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The sea is 2 to 4 feet. There's a high tide now. The next low around 1 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the low to upper 70s. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call Insurance Management. They offer a wide range of insurance products. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. With more than 40 years in business... Nobody does it better than insurance management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. Our professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune. The people. Paper, biggest and best. Friday's World News headlines wild weather across the southeast United States. Several tornadoes reported. At least five persons died in the state of Alabama because of the weather. Efforts continue to free that huge container ship that is stuck in the Suez Canal, blocking it. More than 100 ships are waiting for the ship to be cleared, but so far that hasn't happened, and officials say they're not sure when it will be cleared. The European Union continues to wrestle with control of vaccines as coronavirus cases continue to surge in some countries. Hundreds of persons arrested in what was called a Freedom Day protest in Belarus. Tribune's gas tracker prices heading into the weekend. Shell 481, SO 457, Rubus $4.74 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Get the latest on the school's golf championships heading into the final day of competition. Find out what Georgette Roll Harris is up to now in golf. 
Get the latest report on NBA trades. Buddy Heal and the Kings win again last night in the NBA. They beat the Warriors. Heal had 14 points in that game. For all your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.